Hi, Sharon Durbin Graves, painting with acrylics101.com in my beautiful Kentucky studio. So glad to have you here today. Hey, if you are a beginning painter or if you've been painting for a while but you're not really happy with your results yet, you're my peeps. <laughs> you're who I teach. I don't teach anybody but beginners. And here's the reason why. 20 years ago, I was quite ill. My health was in an absolute turmoil and no doctor seemed to be able to figure it out. And then when they did, I kind of wish they hadn't. <laughs> um, I was diagnosed with scleroderma. It's an autoimmune disease, um, fairly rare, hard to diagnose, that's for sure. Um, and mine was in my lungs and in my heart. It was not real, it's usually it's on your face, on your skin, um, makes it real tight and hard, your hands, your arms makes it difficult to walk, your hands kind of curl under, but mine was all internally, and which made it even doubly hard to diagnose. There was nothing to look at really. Um, so at any rate, uh, <laughs> I was a sick puppy for a, a, a little while and then I got really sick. And um, I was, uh, I sought out a, um, a double lung and heart transplant and um, went for a three day evaluation. And uh, well, that's hard. <laughs> um, they, when I met with a surgeon, he, he was very upbeat. He said he was sure that, you know, that, uh, that I was a good candidate, um, that I definitely needed a new heart and new lungs. Uh, and, um, and he said, you know, I've never had anybody gain any lung capacity back. So where you are is, is as good as you're going to get without new lungs. And I was losing lung capacity, um, left and right. Like you would not believe I was on oxygen in a wheelchair. And I was uh, about 45 to 48 years old, somewhere in that time frame. And so when I left, I basically I was gonna I was on the list. Uh, within a week or so, I got a letter, and they said, you know, we've thought it over, and we're really just not uh, going to give you those heart that heart and those lungs because the scleroderma very well could just attack those organs and. It wouldn't help you in the long term and so we are taking you off the list um, and I'm like oh okay well I was losing lung capacity so quickly that um, you know when I had been in the um, uh, observation group there uh, at the hospital um, when they were evaluating me uh, you know basically it was like I had maybe 30 possibly 45 days left uh, if my lung capacity kept going down at the rate it was. I'm like, okay. So in my letter that they sent to me, they sent me a letter. They didn't even call. They sent me a letter. I thought that was kind of cold. But anyway, <laughs> they um, uh, said, you know, I, I just, I need, really needed to get my affairs in order. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I can do that. And so I went um, to my knees and I said, Heavenly Father, you know, I'm okay with dying. I, I have... I'm a Christian woman. I have, I believe in the resurrection. I have tried to leave a, live a good life. And, you know, I'm okay with dying. But before I go, <laughs> there's one thing on my bucket list I really want to learn to do. I want to learn to paint. And, you know, <laughs> I, I, I bet that sounded kind of funny to him. But at any rate, that, that was what I wanted to learn to do. And so I had no, I couldn't work. I had no job. I had no money. Um, uh, most of my children were out of the house, but I still had one in high school. And, um, so I had no, literally no supplies, hardly. I had some craft paint. I had some gourds up in the barn. I, I started learning how to, to paint on gourds. And so, um, I struggled. I struggled and struggled and struggled. Okay. This is 20 years ago before YouTube, before the internet, before anything online. And so... Um, I really, really struggled, and um, I was horrible. <laughs> I was just so horrible, but I kept at it, and I found a class in Bardstown, Kentucky um, by Jerry Arnell. He's on uh, PBS, and um, it was he had two classes going on. Actually, had three. One, two painting classes, and one was like a, a, a drawing um, foundational art concept class, so I, I 
one of the painting classes was full, so I took the basic class and I took the three-day painting class. So, okay, it's in Bardstown, Kentucky. I'm not anywhere near Bardstown, Kentucky, so, you know, I had to get a hotel room. I had to get my stuff and get there. I had to have food for three to four days. Um, the class was, um, it wasn't exorbitant, but it was not cheap. Uh, and then uh, my supplies that I didn't ha have an enough of. So by the time all was said and done, I'd spent at least $1,200. <laughs> but I came home with a beautiful painting and I knew I could do it from there on out. And so, you know, during this time frame, my lung capacity just stopped dropping. I mean, it was dropping like a rock, but it just stopped. And so it gave me some time to, to figure some things out. And I still struggled, but not nearly as much. It's amazing what just a little bit of instruction can, can help you do if you'll, you know, take the full advantage of it. So I came home with this gorgeous painting. To me, it was gorgeous. I don't know what the rest of the world might have thought, but it was gorgeous to me. <laughs> and so I, that's when I started painting five, six, seven hours a day, five and six days a week. And, um, you know, if you put some time into something, you're going to get better at it. Uh, but I, I, I promised myself and I said, you know, if I ever get this, if, I, if this ever starts to really make sense, I will teach beginners. I will help other people uh, get on their path. If this is what they want to learn to do, I want to be able to help them uh, because I know how hard it was. Uh, how difficult it was to find any kind of quality instruction for beginners. There's tons of stuff out there. There was tons of stuff out there if you knew stuff. I mean, I went to a class um, as a total beginner and there were people in there who'd been painting for 10, 15, 20 years. Talk about intimidation. I was intimidated, <laughs> but it's okay. It's totally okay. So at any rate, um, I promised myself that if I ever got it, I would share it. I would teach it. I, and that's that's what I do. I still paint all the time. I teach classes in person uh, and I teach online classes. And the, that's why I do it. That's why I have this channel. That's why I have a blog on my website, my blog. I don't, um, I don't monetize my blog because I hate going to places you know, you're on Pinterest and you look for something and, and you, oh, that looks good. I'll click on that and you go, and there's like five billion ads and, and you can't ever seem to get to the information. I don't, I don't even, I don't monetize my blog. I give it all away for free. I do have some paid classes. I have a paid beginning art course. I have a beginner's painting club that opens up three times a year. It's going to open up in May, but, um, that's why I do what I do because I said I would. I said if I ever stopped, started to get it, I would share it. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do. So thank you so much for being here today. I hope we, um, well, at least you know a little bit more about me. I don't know much about you other than hopefully you want to learn to paint and I can probably help you do that. So at any rate, you have a great day. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up, um, subscribe to my channel and there's that little bell right there, you know, click on that bell and then you'll get notification every uh, week when I upload a new video. I usually do it on Friday. I try to do it earlier in the week, but I never just get it done like that. Friday seems to be my day to get my YouTube video up there. So at any rate, uh, Sharon Durbin Graves, Painting with Acrylics, uh, 101.com. So good to meet you. Have a great day and let's paint together real soon. Oh, you want to know the rest of the story? Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll give you the rest of the story. During that first year that I was painting, my lung capacity stopped dropping and it just stayed there. I mean, it was horrible. I was on oxygen and in a wheelchair a lot. I was I struggled to get around, um, but I, I, I didn't get any worse. And so I kept on painting every day, <laughs> every day, every day, every day, uh, five, six days a week. I painted five to seven hours a day. And you know, if you do that much, you're gonna get better. And I, and I did start to get better, and um, at least painting-wise. <laughs> and every month I went to my lung specialist. I had to have these lung functions test every month. And I just stayed there at that level for almost a year. 
And then, boom, I went up two points. And I went up the next month a point. And then I went up three points. And then I went up two more points. And, you know, my that surgeon, uh, the lung surgeon uh, at the transplant team said that he'd never had anybody gain more than 2% back. Well, I got back, uh, I mean, I was down in the 20s. <laughs> as far as lung capacity. And I got back up to about 85%. And um, <laughs> there was no real reason, um, pretty just a miraculous uh, healing. And um, my, <laughs> my lung specialist one, one month when I went there, he, he had uh, like a resident in there with him. And, he, and he, he when he came in, he goes, I just want you to meet this woman here. I, I have healed this woman. And I have no idea how I did it. <laughs> so so I, we can all only just attribute it to a miracle that, you know, I, my time was not over. So I've been painting for 20 years now. And so um, I do paint not every day, but three to five days a week. I still paint that much. And um, I love it. I love what I do. I love teaching. Um, if I'd have stayed in college like a good little girl, I would have been a teacher, but I didn't. So, so nobody could ever accuse me of being a good little girl. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, uh, that's why I teach the people that I teach. Uh, and that's why I love it. And I hope that you're going to join me. So again, thank you so much. Um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down there and um, click that little bitty bell because uh, it'll give you a notification every week when I put out a new video. I try to put a new video out on, on early in the week. It never happens. It's always Friday. So I guess Friday's my day that I should be doing it because that's when it always happens. So at any rate, I usually upload on Friday and you can um, Click that little bell and you'll get a notification for that. But look through my channel because there are tons and tons of videos there for beginning painters. That's all it's written for. That's all I, I have no other goal um, than to teach beginners. So thank you so much. Have a great day. Let's paint together soon.